Hi everyone. Tonight I'm going to do something that I have never done before. So essentially I'm going to be doing a group reading here on Facebook Live. So I don't know how this is going to work because it's a little bit difficult when I can't hear your responses and, and the feedback so I know if I'm on the right track or if I'm not on the right track. Um, and, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try, um, and I, I hope that um, that many of you will receive messages. What I say at all my group readings is somebody else may be commanding my attention with a message, but that doesn't mean it's not for you as well. If it feels like it's for you, if the name seems right or the personality seems right, then it is. So take it. So just not for the person that I seem to be um, talking to or answering questions of, okay? So I'd like to start out with a prayer. And um, so just kind of lift up your intentions about what you want tonight. I pray that all your loved ones will be around you in some way, whether you're hearing about them from me or you're feeling them. We thank them and we thank God and the angels and the prophets and the, everyone in the heavenly realm for opening up the gateway to um, bring through this. So um, my prayer is that I will be able to um, help you find peace and closure and feel the love that comes through your loved ones to you tonight. Okay. There is a woman here with very bright eyes. They, um, they're bright. They, they may be green. Um, they're a light green or hazel. And I feel like um, she had a condition that lasted a long time that she couldn't move away from and she wants you to know that she's okay she's fine she's okay that um, that she's she's with you in every way so um, oh so Fran is, is saying um, that's her mother she loves you so much Fran she understands the difficulties that you're going through but she's saying, you will rise above all of this. Just keep your faith, keep it strong, and allow her to come through to you. Because she comes through to you in dreams all the time, but you don't always recognize them. Feel the peace that comes from her to you. There's also a man here who is saying that he had enough. He had enough, he didn't wanna live anymore. It was too difficult. And once his wife died, there really was no reason. Although I feel like they argued a lot. Um, he loved her very, very, very much. And she loved, she loved him as well. Um, and they're together. Um, uh, so just, um, he's coming through to somebody here. Um, he's Italian. He has, there's a very much, he wasn't born in Italy, I don't think. Um, but he feels very Italian, very close family, very close family that um, who is ever online with me tonight um, should stay close with, okay? It's important that you stay close with the family. He wants you to know that um, he's there and that he was there at Christmas. Um, and I don't feel he's gone too long either. I feel like maybe he's gone, maybe, um, I don't know six, seven, eight months, something like that. Um, and he wants you to know he's there. There's also a young woman coming through. Oh, so Tammy is, uh, is saying that's her father. Um, he, he loves you, really loves you. You've got some decisions to make this year, by the way, that he's going to help you with, okay? He wants you to have a cool head. Just keep a cool head. It's important that um, you don't get lost in um, some of the things that are being said to you um, or how they're being said to you. 
Um, so you you don't need to kind of get lost in in, in all of that. Okay. Um, there uh, there's a message for Eileen that the babies are safe. The babies are very safe. The energies of these babies are very safe. Um, there is a lesson in this. I can't tell you the lesson because I think it's a hard lesson. Some of the best lessons in life are the hardest, but it's kind of like, okay, I've learned this already, let it go. But I'm feeling there's some kind of a lesson in this that someday um, you, will, you will understand. And that's important. There's also um, someone named Paul coming through and he wants, um, he wants his love to know how happy he is with your life and what you're doing with your life and how you're bringing through the peace and the happiness. And he's saying, I love the babies. I love the babies. So um, who's ever connected to that, um, I want you to know that um, he's, um, he's very much around you and wants you to know that. Um, it's important um, that, that you know that. Very important. Um, you know, there's a man here. He's relatively young, 40s, 50s maybe 60, I think he's 50, 60s. Um, he's coming through and he's saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry that it, it there, I was a burden. I'm sorry, I didn't wanna be a burden to you. Um, but I'm hearing I was a burden, I was a burden. And I didn't never wanted, I never wanted to be a burden. I always wanted to be the one that took care of, you know, everybody. Um, but he, it wasn't to be that way. It was, um, you know, it had to be in a different way. There's a woman named Fran here, um, and she's saying, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. So she's waiting for someone or something, um, but that doesn't mean it's going to happen today, okay? Um, but there's a waiting for someone else to cross over. I think like for her love to cross over. Um, she's waiting for him to come to her. And she wants you to know that it's okay. It's okay that when he decides to to leave, that there has to be a letting go of the whole of the whole family. Um, let's see. Uh, give me a minute. There's a woman dancing. But I feel like she's more than just a dancer who goes to a dance. I feel like um, that she knows what she's doing. She knows how to dance. She's moving. She's moving. You know, she's kind of, she's saying I'm moving with the grooving. Um, but I think, um, I think like she was older in the 60s. Um, but, you know, uh, this is, she's not, she's not, I don't, I don't feel her part of the whole hippie thing. I think that, you know, in the 60s, um, she had, she had babies. And, but she was dancing around the house with her baby. This is somebody's mother. Um, she's big brown eyes, big brown eyes. Like you feel very loved um, in her eyes, okay? Um, and she wants you to know she's dancing with you. There's a man named Sal, okay? Um, and he's saying, I'm with all of you. I'm with all of you. And somebody's moving. And um, you're going not, you're not gonna be alone in this move, okay? You're gonna, you're gonna be with heaven. This is a really, 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 really good move um and so you you need to kind of keep a clear head and not worry about it there's a man here who is a mechanic i feel like his name begins with a j like a jimmy a joseph um and he's under the hood of a car i don't know if this is what he did does for a living or um or what he does um for fun but he's under the hood of a car and, um, and he's saying that there's another, there's a, a young man in the family, a boy, who's also very good mechanically. Um, I'm also smelling gasoline, okay? Um, and so I don't, the smell of gasoline is either because um, somebody grew up uh, next to a gas station or um, somebody, um, somebody was a mechanic in the family. And, um, and so there is, um, there's a sense of you've been reaching out to feel this man around you and he's there. He's really there. Um, somebody has their father's wheelbarrow um, or, or something, something like that, um, you know, and I'm feeling that, um, use it, use it. Like, don't just make it a planter, like use it. Like um, bring, you know, um, bring the dirt in, you know, um, put the dirt around. It's important, there's a James here. Um, and he's quiet, he's very quiet. 
Um, when he says something, I feel there are great words of wisdom. Uh, and he wants you to know that he wasn't quiet because he had any anxiety about talking. He just talked when he had to talk. And he's saying, I'm so, so proud. I'm so, so proud of you and for the family. Someone's going back to school um, and it's been very, very, very um, thought out. So this whole thing about going back to school, there's been, should I go, should I not go, should I go? And I'm feeling absolutely. And I feel like it's, um, you know, maybe social work or therapy or, or something or something like that. There's a man here with a, a, a hat on. Um, it's, um, it's a hat hat. It's like a bowler hat. Maybe not a bowler. I don't know what those hats are called. But it's like a hat with a dent in the top. And um, and he's very dapper. Very dapper. He's dressed very well. And he's very handsome. He's so cute. Um, and he's, um, he's coming through. And he's saying, um, you know, perception is important. Um, keep your wits about you. But remember, perception is important so um, you know it's what you believe it's what you see um, there's a woman that's on right now um, and I feel like um, she's going through a little bit of a struggle with um, her health um, you know doesn't quite know or understand the diagnosis um, just be calm about it be calm you know give it up to God and hold tight that everything is going is going to be okay. There is somebody named Ellen or Eleanor here, and she's kind of um, prim and proper. Okay, um, prim and proper. Um, you know, she likes things a certain way, things lined up a certain way, um, and it drove herself. She drove herself crazy as as well as everybody else. But I feel like her china has been passed down to you. Um, and she's saying, you don't have to be like I was. Take it out. Take it out um, and, you know, use it. Share it with friends. Share dinners with friends. Cook, cook, cook. There's a woman talking about making the cookies. Um, and she's saying, um, there's so many cookies that were made. And she's saying, um, I, I'm thankful that you make the cookies. You make them for the, the, the family. You know, um, you know, you you feed your friends with the cookies. Don't just make them for the holidays, but make them at other times of the year when when you can. And there's a rose here. Um, and Rose is, um, she says what she believes. Uh, she says what she thinks. Uh, sometimes there's not a big enough, um, not a big enough filter. Um, and she's saying that, um, you know, walk your walk and talk your talk, talk, talk your, speak your truth. Somebody here's foot's hurting. Um, I don't know if it's um, planters or if it's um, a bunion, um, but it needs to be taken care of, okay? Like, you just can't go on with this. And I know that um, that it, it hurts to have that surgery or get or do whatever you do with planters, but I'm feeling it has to be, and it's about grounding. You're not grounded. Once you take care of this, you'll be more grounded. Um, so somebody connected to Rose, and I'm happy about that because she really wanted to be connected to. And she's funny because she's laughing, but I don't think everybody understands. I don't I think everybody gets her jokes. Um, I think she's very funny um, in the way she's presented to me, um, but I don't, I don't feel it all going on. Yes, Tammy, you're going to move. Um, I can't tell you when, um, but you need to put this in motion, okay? You, you don't have it in motion yet. Um, and so if you don't have it in motion, heaven can't bring it to you. It's not going to fall on, um, on, on your doorsteps, okay? Um, yes, Grandma Bubbles is absolutely here. Um, and she's so sweet. She's so sweet. Um, and she's saying in a lot of ways, you are like her, Sarah. Um, hold on to that, okay? Um, it's important that, that you hold on to. Um, I'm feeling Iowa, okay? Not Louisiana. I'm feeling Iowa. Um, but you will, have, um, you will have the opportunity probably for both, okay? Um, welcome everybody who's due. To this page. I hope you're all following, by the way. And I do hope you sign up for my um, newsletters I'm on my um, on AnnaRaymondi.com because then you'll receive notifications of everything I'm doing. Um, you know, and that's that's um, it can be invaluable um, for you, especially when when you when you have it. Eddie is dancing. Eddie is singing. Oh, I'm also seeing a treble clef. So somebody was um, somebody was a musician. 
um, in life. Oh, I was, and, and like really, really was a, a pretty good musician. Um, so I don't know if this person was, um, was um, in a band um, or just did it for fun. Um, so just, you know, it's, these questions are coming in fast and furious, so I can't keep up with them, which is why I'm, I'm still talking here, okay? Um, you know, just know that Jimmy is at peace, complete peace. He's out of his pain. He's out of his misery. Recognize that. He comes to you all the time. Um, he comes to you in dreams. I kind of feel like you just hear him from, from, from left field, okay? Um, you know, it's just feeling and feeling and feeling. Um, you know, John is saying, my illness, my illness, my illness. Um, I'm not feeling that anymore. I'm having fun. I also feel he has a baseball in his hand. So I don't know if he played baseball, or he, but he's definitely playing now, okay? Um, you know, so um, just recognize that. And please, please tell his family um, that he appreciates you know, all the things they have done in his memory, big and small. It doesn't have to be big. It really doesn't have to be big at all. It can be something, um, it can become, you know, Charlie is not mad at you, Elaine. Um, there is no, there is no anger, okay? There is no animosity from the other side. They're at a place of peace and understanding, um, really understanding, and there's nothing to be angry with you about. So it's up to you to, um, to let it go. Oh, Hi, Barb from Iowa. Um, I love when people across the country are, um, are here when I do these Facebook Lives. It makes me very excited. Um, uh, so just, uh, yes, John Adamo, Beth. Um, you know, um, okay. Um, so, Miss Wilson, um, your husband's going through change with his job. Um, I don't know if he's going to leave or um, he's going to stick through it, but I think he needs to be calmer about this. He needs a clearer, clearer head, okay? Um, and there's a woman standing behind him, um, and she's smoking. So I don't know if this is your side of the family or his side of the family, um, but smoking, smoking, smoking. Um, and um, somebody has a lung problem. Um, somebody had um, a lung cancer. Um, but I don't know if they smoked. I kind of feel, um, uh, I kind of feel like, I know Allison, this is very cool, right? Um, I, there's, um, there's a long issue, but I don't think it's from smoking. I don't know if it's from asbestos or the World Trade Center, what happened at the World Trade Center, or I don't know what, but there's a heaviness in the lung, okay? Um, you know, Beth, um, I'm not talking about your husband's illness, okay? Um, but I am saying that he needs to stay on top of it. He's gotten a second chance, um, and he just needs to keep the faith. Don't let it get go. Don't let it get you know. Don't let it get him down, okay? Um, it's important. Um, you know, um, Carol. Um, Carol had a lung issue. Yes, she did. Um, but I, Carol may. I don't know if Carol smoked or not. Um, but um, she's tapping her foot. She's waiting for you to do something. You're in the cusp of, of doing something. Um, and um, it's important um, that you get it going, okay? Um, she's helping you. She's opening up, um, she's opening up doors, okay, for you all, all over the place. Um, Manny's okay. Manny's singing, okay? Um, he has a decent voice. I don't think he's professional, um, but he has a decent voice, and he's singing, 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 singing. Um, there's a woman coming through whose name is Marie, Maria, or, um, or, or it sounds like Marie or Maria, okay? Um, and she's coming through, um, bringing peace with her and bringing a large family with her. Um, you know, um, so, um, just know that, um, you know, she's coming through and she's this, she's coming through with a family and it's not only Maria, um, it's, um, there's other people with her. Ira, I don't know if Ira had a heart attack, but he has his hand on his heart. Um, and he's saying my heart, my heart, my heart. Um, you know, so I don't know if it's a broken heart or he had a heart problem. Um, I don't know, but he's saying I no more, no more. It's all, it's all okay. Well, okay. Okay. So your mother is Marie. 
Maria. Um, she's here with you, but she's coming through with a huge family. There's a big family. Um, not they're not they're, they're not alone. Not alone. Okay. Um, your grandfather is very proud of you, Amy. Um, you're doing very well. You're following his wishes. Um, you just keep it going, um, Lisa. I feel like you're changing careers. Okay. Um, but you need to find you need to find your truth. Okay, Beth. He had a heart attack. That's what I thought because that's what I was feeling. So because um, when you because I read Ira and the minute I felt that I felt heart attack. Um, so yes, um, that's what he's coming through. Your brother will get a job, Mary, but he may not get the job he wants to get. Okay, he needs to kind of um, it, it, be, think broader. Okay, than he's ever thought before. And who's the contractor? There's somebody who's passed who's working with his hands. He's telling me um, he's in the business of houses. Okay, so I don't know if he builds houses or he. I don't know what he's doing, um, but building, building, building houses. Okay, um, and um, he's saying that uh, what I'm hearing is. Um, your brother just needs to stay calm and not be so anxious, okay? Um, there's a Joseph coming through, um, and Joseph is sending lots of love. He's talking about the farm. I don't know who lived on the farm, but there is um, definitely a farm. Yes, yeah, Stephanie, um, your mother and dad are listening to you. Keep talking to them, um, you know, and I understand what's going on with your husband. Um, and he needs, he needs to be talking to somebody about his problems and really talking and then really listening, okay? And he needs to um, learn how to sit, sit Phil. Oh, okay, so Claire, um, so your grandfather had a farm, okay? He had a lot of stuff growing on there. And, um, and he loved it. It gave him peace. He wants you to plant flowers. So you don't have to plant fruit, food right now. He wants you to plant the flowers um, in, in the spring, okay? Um, and, and watch them grow and nurture them. And it's, it's also, if you want another baby, there's another baby on the horizon for you. Um, it's just a matter of you saying, um, I, I want it. Yes, um, um, Yvonne, your mother is with your father, and they're not orphans anymore. Okay, because there's family with them on both sides. There's energetic family, those are the family that came in, and then there's the biological family. Um, and I'm hearing you know who they are. You know who they are, um, and so be grateful. Know that they're they're okay. Um, yes, um, Julie, your mother's gonna make it through her broken hip. Um, the other medical issues are a little bit tougher. Um, it's her constitution that heaven is most worried about. Is her feeling like the glass is half empty and not half? Um, half um, full. Um, you know, the spirits that are surrounding you and disturbing your sleep, Rochelle, you can ask to leave you alone. These are not your family. These are, this is, these are spirits in your house and spirits that you're pulling in um, into, into the day, okay, into your day, and then they come through at night. The miscarriages are all energy, okay, and they are around you. Every one of them are around you. They're not going to leave you, okay? They're going to continue to be around you. Um, I don't know who asked me that question, but I'm feeling um, they're around you. Um, uh, I think it was Ellen, but I'm not sure about that. Um, but they're around you. Just know that that you're, you're there. Um, yes, um, yes, your dad is coming through, Carla. Uh, no, not your dad. Um, you have Marco coming through. Marco is coming through to not only you, Anthony, and your other two. He's so happy. He's so happy with your kids. And he knows that you're up and down, and he knows that you miss him. He knows that, and he loves you so much, but you're doing the right things. The decisions are right. Um, a lot of energy on your son, um, Marco, as well. Um, you know, a lot of energy about what he wants for the future and where he's going with it, but he loves the three of them, okay? Um, Anthony has been finding, um, I don't know, nickels or dimes or something, um, and they're coming from Marco. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, yes, Caroline is okay. Um, there is also a woman here and she's saying, I come, I, my symbol is the butterfly, single butterflies. So not butterflies that are flying with other butterflies, like when you see a butterfly on its own. Um, you might even have a butterfly land on you. Um, and somebody has a tattoo. Um, I don't know um, if it's a butterfly or it's dragonfly. Um, but they're saying um, that tattoo is nice and you know, and and I'm and you know, putting it on there as a symbol is a nice thing, but you you don't need to do anything anything else. 
Um, there's a woman coming through. She's a grandmother, but she's not called grandma. I don't know what she called. I don't know, something with a G. Um, but she's saying that, um, and she's laughing. She's saying to her granddaughter, um, you, um, you need to, um, you know, you need to have a sense of humor. Yes, you're being guided um, on just your severity and depression, um, and the help you're getting is good, but um, you don't, don't give up on it. Don't give up on it. You need to keep doing it. You need to keep plugging. Of course, Barry, your daughter is always around you, always around you. You just keep doing what, what you're doing. Um, you know, you keep doing what you're doing, keep feeling what you're feeling, keep feeling her, okay? It's important. Someone died in a car accident. Uh, and I feel like it was instantaneous, okay? Um, you know, they got and then the other driver might have been drinking um, because I'm feeling, um, there, I'm smelling alcohol. So there might have been some drinking involved. Um, I feel like this is a woman that was in the accident um, and she wants you to know she's okay, okay. Um, yes, Connie, there is a presence in your house um, and it feels like a woman, okay? And she, she really wants you um, to think through some of the things that are going in your life, but don't overanalyze. Don't overanalyze. Just keep it, keep it going. Who has their mother's coats? Somebody has the coats, okay? Um, and the coats are of the mother. And once in a while, um, you may wear one, but you don't wear you don't wear many. You know, you don't like wearing all the coats. Um, just one or two. Um, you know, that's okay, even if you touch them. There's a woman who always opens up her husband's closet, who's not gone for very long. Um, to touch the clothing, to feel the clothing, to smell it. Um, he knows you're doing that, but he's with you. Um, you don't need to smell him, but if it gives you peace, um, it gives you peace. And that's really what's important. Yes, Keith is here. And Keith is with you. Um, I'm also feeling motorcycles. Um, so I don't know if he's with the motorcycle or the other people are with the motorcycle, but motorcycles, motorcycles. Um, he's saying your daughter is okay. I think it's your daughter. Um, your daughter is okay. Um, so um, just just know that. Carrie is here. She's absolutely here. Um, don't, don't worry about that. Um, Shane is sitting back in a chair with his feet up relaxing and he's saying you should do the same Lily you don't know how to relax um, it's it's important yes full time a full term I don't know about full term but a baby is coming a baby is coming in um, you know just you know keep the faith keep the cape keep lifting it up you know pray to Mary um, who is you know who understands the pain and the happiness of, of, of children okay um, uh, your father just left in December. You got to give him a little bit of time before he can come through a medium. Okay, one on one, maybe, but certainly not in a reading like this. They take about nine or ten months to come through. Um, did um, somebody had an ornament thrown, like fell from the tree, like where there was nothing by the tree when you had the Christmas tree up? It fell, but I don't think it broke. Okay, um, that was a message that. Um, that he was there, the grandfather was there, okay? That he was there sharing, sharing the holiday. Um, you know, um, let's see. Um, yes, uh, Sherry, you've got some changes in your life. It's a little bit like a roller coaster right now, but it will all settle out. Um, and there is, um, and there's a woman who wants you to know, who wants to know if you have her ring. Um, it's important that you wear her ring. There's also another woman here who is showing me a charm bracelet. Um, and, and on the charm bracelet are all the favorite things of, of her life. Um, and she wants you to hold that dear, okay? Um, hold it dear and, and hold it to your heart. It's important that you hold it to your heart. Angie, you're on an upswing, but you need to claim it and you need to stay positive. Um, I keep hearing no more tears, no more tears because you're losing precious moments of your life and you need to hold on to that. Um, yes, um, they know about the future, um, the future marriage, um, and they're saying, if, you know, if happiness is brought through the marriage, um, then it's, then it's all good. Yes, Julie, things will settle down soon, but soon is relative. Okay, I think you got a little bit, um, into this year, like maybe toward the summer, okay? Um, and that's, that's, in, that's important. Um, uh, the boy, the, the boy who had the illness, there's um, a boy who had an illness, um, he's thanking everyone because he was well taken care of. Um, it might have been a cancer, 
in his body. He's not, I don't know if he's a boy, he's somebody's son, so he's coming through um, like like a boy, okay? Um, and and he, wants, he wants you to know that he loves you, um, and there's like a little, like you've like his pictures everywhere, even though it's been, a, and he, although it's been a while, okay? Um, there's also a man here who is standing in a minion, okay? So he's Jewish, and he's praying with a group of men, and they're bowing, and they're praying, and the men are his relatives, okay? Very religious. Um, he's, not, he's not saying that you need to be religious, um, but he is saying that um, you, need, you need to believe in something. Um, thank you that you like my hair long, Jen. <laughs> People don't always recognize me. It's kind of fun. Um, okay. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, yes. Um, Brian is very happy about the new baby, but not happy with the situation. It needs to be cleared. Okay, um, this needs to all be worked out. Okay, and you should not be going crazy um, doing all these things. Um, doing that. Um, by the way, um, so Carrie is arranging a group reading in Florida. If you're interested in going to that, you can um, PM me and um, I will give you the information. Um, so, um, and Carrie, I'd like to talk to you about that at another time. Um, so, um, Mother Mary. Mother Mary is always around me, um, and she can always be around you. All you have to say is, I want you here. Um, I hope that many of you read the book, and I hope that you also, um, you know, wrote a critique or um, something, um, whatever you write on Amazon, um, because that would be really helpful to, to me and for other people um, who want to read this kind of book. Um, so the information is that you write about the book, your review is invaluable. But thank you for reading it on behalf of Mary, because Mary wrote this book, not just me, okay? She's the one who's bringing through these messages of peace and love. She's one of, she's one of my strongest, strongest guides. She's been with me my whole life, and she helps me bring the messages through to you, as well as another one of my guides is um, St. Pio, Padre Pio. Um, he helps me get it through, as well as my spirit guides. Um, so know that, you know, I open my mouth, you can see how fast I'm talking, um, and they just bring it all, 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 all to me. Anything that scares you in terms of spirits coming through are not good, and you should ask them to leave in the name of God. Your God is stronger than they are, and you don't need them around you. So if you're seeing shadows and they scare you, Yvonne, say goodbye. You, you, don't, you don't need it, okay? Um, I'm glad the, back, the book is coming back. I hope you um, enjoy it and you read it, and you read it slowly. You know, read it, you know, you don't have to read a full chapter, um, really, and you should be doing the meditations and taping the meditations um, so, that, um, so that you can um, be able to do them if you tape them. Um, someone's son is going through some serious ups and downs. Um, I don't think um, he knows what he wants to do with his life, but it will be clear. And then there's someone's son who's doing um, a little bit too much drugs um, and going into hard drugs. So I hope that everybody online tonight will pray for this for this boy um, because it's important um, that he get out of this this darkness um, and into the light. It's really, really, really important. Um, that we pray for him. I also have a prayer page on Facebook um, called Conversations with Mary Pray For Us that you can post prayers on. There's a lot of people um, on it that will pray for you. Um, so, um, Brian, you're seeing hearts everywhere. Um, these hearts are being sent to you by a woman who really loves you, okay, really loves you. Uh, and she wants you to know that she's never going to leave your side. Somebody is also sending you um, messages in music. Um, so listen to the words of the music even when you're not asking a question. I don't, they, the spirit world cannot predict the future and neither can I. Um, you have free will, you create your future. So I can't answer um, any future questions. Um, I know, Joseph, that's very cool um, that Joseph's um, sister and brother had the Holy Communion um, by Padre Pio. I think Mario um, De Vivo did as well. Um, okay, that's really cool. Um, okay, um, let's see. Uh, let's see, I'm going to move all the way down here. Um, 
Okay. Um, somebody is asking um, whether they will stay cancer free and will the anxiety ever go away. I think you should give the cancer up to God. Have God take the cancer from you. Um, you are predisp predisposed to anxiety. You need to meditate some more. Okay. You need to, you need to put all of this in the hands of God. Okay. That's it. Um, and so that you can live your life each day. Enjoy. Okay. Um, you know whether or not the cancer goes away um, may not be totally relevant. I mean, if you go into remission um, and you live a long, full life. Um, and the cancer is still lingering, um, just claim that, that, that you don't have it and let it move on. You've got to give it up to God. I say that all the time. I know it's very, 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 very difficult to do, but practice it. You know, you can get a shoebox or a coffee can. You know, I tell people that have a hard time surrendering, you know, to write down what you're giving up to God, you know. But say it in like this, thank you, God, that I am cancer-free, and put it in something, and at the end of the month, burn it, because as you burn it, um, it's a burning prayer, um, and it's, 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 um, it's, it's, it's good. Um, the secret child in the family. Well, um, I think the secret child in the family um, is to bring light into the family in some way and knowing. Um, so, you know, follow it, um, ask questions, um, and, and, and be there, you know, to be the one who's answering some questions as well, okay? I don't know what I did, um, but I can't get to your questions anymore. Um, so I can't answer them because it seemed to have gone away. Oh, wait, maybe this is it. Nope, that is not it. Um, oh my goodness, I don't know how to go back to that. Oh, now I've lost everything. My screen is going a little, oh, there we are. Um, okay. Um, yes, Michelle, um, your brother is there with family. Um, he had to work through um, the reasons why he took his own life, um, but he's worked through it, okay? And the family that was there before he passed um, helped him work through it. Um, and, and that's, that's okay. Um, yes, um, it, your mother was thrilled that you told her it was okay to die. Um, you know, she needed to hear that from you. She needed to hear that, um, she did a good job and her job was done and that she should go on, um, you know, to, you know, the place where she would be reborn. She wants you to celebrate the day that she passed, um, because it's a very special day because that's the day um, that, that, um, that she was able to rebirth. The wallet. Who has their father's wallet? He's saying in, in his wallet was everything. Um, pictures, um, you know, um, you know, okay, Warren, she is going to a doctor, okay? And I'm not crazy, but I believe that God can also hear our prayers, okay, in every way. And yes, of course, if you have cancer, you're going to a doctor. Um, but I've seen that woman on this page before, and she is going to a doctor. So it's not crazy to believe. It's actually crazy not to believe. It's crazy not to believe that there's a higher power that loves us so much that can help us through this life. It's crazy to believe that the power of prayer does not bring through miracles. It's crazy to believe there aren't miracles all around us. And so, you know, I will pray for you that you will have an opening of your heart, okay? It it's doesn't mean that um, the spirit world doesn't work in conjunction with doctors. That's why we have intelligence. That's why doctors are, are they're healers. They're here to help us. But it also means you can also do that and walk with God. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, um, you're not the only one who's having problems, um, Sharon, with family unity. There's a lot of people on this page tonight who are going through stuff with family. Um, in, in your case, Sharon, um, there needs a truce needs to be called. And I don't know if you're the one to call it or somebody else, um, but there's somebody who will not acquiesce. And so, you know, you're going to have to work your way through it. Um, and, and, and hope for the best and pray for the best. But I can tell you, heaven wants this to end. Um, you know, there, there's no reason it should end. There's also a man coming through, and I feel like he was emotionally abusive, and he's saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, you know, I did a lot of wrong, and I affect a lot of lives. He also wants to know what happened to his keys. So I don't know what the use were keys to, but he's saying the keys, the keys, my keys, um, 
my, my keys were um, very important to me. So I don't know if these keys opened up something or a storage unit or something. Um, and somebody had um, a safe deposit box that was very hard to get into. Um, but um, I, I don't know what happened with it, um, but I'm feeling, um, I don't feel it's been opened yet. I feel like it, it needs to be opened yet. Tammy, your father died suddenly, but this is how he wanted to go um, because um, he didn't want, he didn't want to bring pain onto people. That's not what he wanted. Um, Mary, your father, I don't see him dancing, but I see him singing and he's a booming voice booming voice. I'm still looking for the musician. Um, you know, somebody um, who played an instrument very well, because I'm hearing the music. It sounds like a piano, okay? Um, I'm hearing it, um, you know, so it's, um, it's still, it's, it's still um, play, playing. No, Jen, your daughter does not have your grandmother's soul. Your grandmother has not reincarnated, has not reincarnated. Your daughter is your daughter, um, and she is unique to the family in terms of her own soul. This is, she has her own soul. She doesn't have anybody else's soul. Um, <laughs> some of these comments are funny. Um, okay, Carol, you have your father's wallet. Um, do you use his wallet because he wants it touched? And he's saying he wants it used. Now, you don't have to actually use it, um, but you can touch it. Um, and he likes that, like, you saw, you left what was in the wallet in the wallet. Um, you know, he's happy about that. Um, so I think when he's saying use it, I really feel like he wants you to touch it. And, and if you meditate, you know, hold the wallet in your hand um, because you will feel him more and more and more. Um, no, Margaret. Um, he, um, your father is thrilled that you weren't there. That you weren't there when he's paid when he passed. He wanted you to go. Okay. I really don't think he wanted a crowd. I really think he wanted to just go. Okay. Um, he didn't want you to remember him in passing. He wants you to get the image out of your head of when he was sick because you keep going back to that image um, and let it go. Yes, Elena. Life is a miracle, and we are miracles. All of us, all of us, we all should keep praying, 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 praying. Um, okay, Renee, that dream was not a spiritual um, connection. That dream was a psychological. That was self. That was therapy um, coming from from your, yourself. Okay, um, your father did not fall face down, um, and he can absolutely talk and move. Okay. Absolutely. Um, your husband needs to hang tight. Um, let's say. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm glad that you're on my page. Yeah, we all should pray. I mean, I don't know what life be, would be without um, knowing that this power is around us to help us and to love us. You know, all our prayers don't get answered in the way that we want to. Um, and it's hard to understand that this is what we need sometimes. Um, but truly, um, that's, what, that's what's pulled through to us. You know, we're never abandoned, never abandoned. Um, and you've got to believe, you've got to believe um, in whatever, you know, what, what, what you have to believe in whatever you believe is above and beyond us. Um, because this great energy, this great vibration is full of, is, is made of love, brings love to us and wants to be recognized as the one that can help us as well. Yes, I understand that, Beth, but he did have a second chance of life. Um, and you can't give up, you can't give up um, hope on what's in front of you. I understand that you're frightened, um, but you can't give up hope. You have to hope, you have to hope, you have to hope, okay? Um, and just, you know, and, 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 you know, and in your case, you can lift it up to God, but I know that you're going to doctors as well, which is important to go to doctors, um, especially for a transplant. Um, you know, you just have to, um, you've, you know, you've done this once and I know you're frightened, um, that this is one too many times. Um, but you got, you got to follow whatever, um, whatever is going around you right now. Um, um, Doreen, um, your husband wants you to know that he hears all of you, every one of you. Um, not a day goes by that he doesn't want to say, I love you, 
for all that you're doing. Um, I feel like there's a lot of pressure on the young man, okay? Um, and he doesn't want pressure on the young man. I don't know if it has anything to do with him. It just could be, you know, life. There's pressure on him. Um, he doesn't want, um, he doesn't want the pressure. Um, he doesn't want the pressure there. Um, Becca. Um, you know, you made the right decision for your father. Um, I feel like it was not just an intellectual decision, but you really search your soul. You're in a much better place now, much better place. You should be writing, journaling, um, you know, let, putting your emotions on paper. It's important for you to do that um, because you need to get it out in some way to yourself. That's, that's important. Um, yes, Patty, your mother's at peace and she is with... Um, she's sitting on a couch. It looks like it's velvet, okay, um, or something like that. She's sitting on, on a couch with her legs curled up, um, and actually she looks like she's 25, okay? So she doesn't look like an, an older woman. This is crazy, but she's saying that your heels are too dry. Um, so to put the cream on, on your heels. So um, I don't know if she did that, but she certainly wants you to do that. Um, let's see. Uh... Yes, I understand. Um, Tammy, don't be lost without him. Feel him. Call him into your life, okay? He doesn't want you to feel that way. Um, he wants you to have peace. He sends a lot of signs. Pay attention um, to the turkey vultures. Um, I don't know, to the turkey vultures. Because um, it's something that I feel like, I mean, I don't, I don't particularly, I don't know, I think they're there. They're beautiful animals, but I don't like what they do with the carcasses. Um, but, you know, it's nature. But he's saying pay attention because they're big and you notice them, okay? It's all about the big birds, big birds. Um, he wants you to go on a trip. He's saying he wants you to get your mind off of this and find your peace, okay? Someone took care of their mother before she passed, and I feel like she was in a wheelchair. Um, and she's saying thank you, thank you, thank you, and I'm sorry I was so crabby. Um, I didn't mean to be. Um, but, um, but, you know, it was, um, she wasn't feeling well, okay? She, she doesn't, um, she wasn't feeling well and she knew, um, that her time was running out and she was frustrated. Um, okay, so, um, okay, so Sean, um, Sean is, is, is feeling spirit and he's afraid of it. He needs to come to a place where he can find his peace with it, okay? Um, and so, you know, you need to let him know that he is protected and what that means to be protected. He needs to know that, um, you know, he can cast out whatever is not good and whatever doesn't need to be around him and to know that his God is stronger than anything that can hurt him and that way he'll be able to sleep at night. And you should put a dream catcher in his room and explain to him what the dream catcher means, how it catches um, our bad dreams and bad energy so that he's able to see. He needs, he needs some help along the way here, okay? Um, so he knows that, that he, can, he can sleep, okay? No, Marianne, your journey is not decided for you. Um, we come here with a blueprint of what our soul wants to accomplish, what lessons it, it has to learn, um, you know, what karma needs to be settled between people. Um, but you have free will. Um, you can go left or right. Pick up my book because uh, Mary talks a lot about that. Um, there is no fate. There is faith. Okay? And there's a difference. You can make a left or a right. Okay? And it's up to you. Um, and so, you know, this is your journey and, you, and you know, it's up to you to, to navigate it, okay? People come into your life to teach you, though. And, you know, sometimes people come into your life to get you back on your path or on your journey. And sometimes you listen to them and sometimes you don't. But it's up to you to take the responsibility um, and do the work. Um, that's, that's important. Um, okay. Um, my father's words that I had so many regrets. Um, he regretted things he didn't do, okay? Um, he regretted um, not always living up to his full potential. Um, he regretted not always um, being as supportive as he could be and not always as present. Um, you know, just, just know that, okay? Um, but he's at peace now. He's come to terms with all of that. 
Um, you know, there were things that he did that he didn't give much thought to. He just did them. Um, but now he understands where that was coming from, okay? Um, also, there's a man coming through. He's calling himself Papa, okay? Um, everybody calls him Papa. I think even out of the family, they call him Papa. Um, he's, he's so, he's big, um, and he's so kind and so good, and he likes chocolate candy, okay? He's eating chocolate. Um, there's another woman coming through who's a diabetic, okay? Um, and she's saying, I tried, I tried, I tried, but I, uh, I wasn't always able um, to be in that place where I was always following the rules, okay? And she's asking that you follow some of the rules set before you with your health, okay? You're okay, but follow the rules, okay? Okay. Um, Maria, your mother is running around, okay? She looks like she's 12. She's running around, okay? She's running around. She's breathing well. I don't know if she had an issue with breathing. Um, she's running around, and she's having a grand old time. Um, you know, your father is still getting acclimated. She's with him, but she's running. She's running, and she's with a lot of people. So I think this is a lot of, like, family members, cousins. I don't know who's there. feels like a ton of people are there. Um, and she's also very much around um, you guys here as well, okay? Um, she's very happy with where you're living and what you're doing, even though she didn't want you to leave, okay? She didn't want you to leave family. Uh, okay, yeah, I know. Um, he, yeah, your boyfriend is really hard into drugs. Um, I, he needs rehab, okay? He need, you have to pray that he finally goes to rehab, stays in rehab, and, and is able to conquer his demons because he can't do this alone. And you can't do it for him. You can't. He needs, he needs to go to rehab. Okay, so that should be um, um, the, um, your mother, Sally, your mother does not want you to replay that day. You spent a lot, she spent her life with you. Um, she wants you to remember the happy stuff. Let that go. That was a blip in all the time you knew her. Feel the other stuff that went on. Um, yes, Marianne, he's still singing. He's still singing, still singing. Still, nobody can connect to this piano player. Beautiful piano music. Beautiful, beautiful music. Um, let's see. Uh, yes, Beth. Um, Ashley, father, um, is totally at peace. Um, and he's, he's not in the place he was in in, work, in life. Um, there's, um, he's made his peace with his life. And with the people that have passed before him, he's absolutely at peace. He wants her to be at peace, okay? It's important that she stays, that she, somebody can't hear. Somebody has a hearing aid that they're hitting. Um, it's very funny. I don't think um, um, that is, um, I don't think they thought it was funny, but I think it's funny. Um, so, um, you know, um, just um, whoever has the hearing problem, whoever had the hearing problem, is hearing very well now, and here's you. Um, okay, Lo Lo uh, Laurie. Um, yes, um, your six-year-old is um, all over her monitor. It, it, those are angels around. What you're seeing on the monitor are angels, okay? Um, but they're all around her, okay? And um, she does talk to them in her sleep, and she, I think she will continue doing this. I don't think it's going to get to the place where she says, oh, I'm not doing this anymore, or this isn't cool. I think that she will continue doing this, but you need to keep talking to her about that. She's not afraid. She's a brave little girl. She's just going um, right ahead with it, um, and she's doing what she needs to be um, doing. Um, okay, let's see a few more, and then I will have to go. Oh, Beverly, of course he sees all the grandchildren and the great-grandchildren. He sees everybody. His family was everything to him. You know, um, he loved, he loved you all. And he loved his children and his grandchildren. And he, he's going to, he's even watching the other ones coming through. He loves to play with them. Somebody, one of those kids are seeing him, okay? Um, I, it's the one with the big brown eyes. Um, I think it's a girl, but she's seeing, he's, um, she's seeing him. Uh, no, uh, let's see. Um, they all know you love them. Just tell them you love them. You don't need me to tell them that you love them. You don't need me for you to talk to them. Talk to them. 
okay? And pay attention to the signs. So they like, you know, the things like light blinkings and they walk around, you might hear footsteps. Um, you know, they move things sometimes like, um, where is my pen? I thought I left it here, it's somewhere else. Um, you know, um, they play with the engine light in the car. Um, they send coins. There's a man here who collected coins, okay? Um, and he wants to make sure that his son has them. Um, but they'll send coins, they'll send birds, they'll send animals, okay, um, to you. So, you know, pay attention and claim it. The more you claim it, the more um, that they will be around you. Um, okay, Melissa. Yes, they're thrilled that you picked the music back up, but did somebody else play an instrument? in your family, okay? Um, no, um, so Erica, um, uh, I think that's your Uncle Joe, okay? Um, he wants you to know that he's with you um, and he wants you to be more creative, okay? And whether it's more creative in cooking or just more creative in the way you're thinking, um, I feel like you take three steps forward and two steps back. He wants you to move ahead completely. Um, no, Deborah, you had Deborah, you had to give her morphine. She was in too much pain, way too much pain. You didn't rush her death at all. She was very ready to go. Okay, she had to have the morphine. She's saying um, that was the best decision that you made because she was in pain. Was in pain. Okay. Um, Kim, you don't need to go to the cemetery to connect with your father. He does see you there, but um, he also sees you talking to him um, in your home. Um, and, you know, I feel like there's a photograph of him somewhere that you sometimes, um, you feel like you connect with him through. That's fine, too. Just know he's always around you. Um, if you feel that you should go to the, the cemetery um, to, to feel him and that's what you want to do, you're doing that for, for you for your sense of peace, and that's okay. You know, it's, it's to help you along on your path. But he's with, he's with you wherever you go. So there's a man here with red hair, reddish blonde hair, um, and he wants to know um, that whoever's talking to is loved, 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 loved. Yes, Tiffany, Powell is at complete peace, complete peace. Um, and um, he, wants it, he wants people to know that, that there were mistakes in his life, okay? Um, but that in his death, I feel like a lot has been going on to help other people. Um, uh, yeah, things are being moved in your house, and I do think it's your father, but I also think you have a grandfather in your house moving things. Um, yes, Lisa, your father does know how much he was loved, but he wants you to know how much you were loved. Okay, um, there's also a man here who's telling me that um, when um, his daughter was a little girl, he would dance and dance and dance in the house. He, he danced with the radio on, he danced. Um, and he wants those memories um, being, you know, being brought up recently. Um, okay, let's see. Yes, Caroline, your boys are together, okay? And they're so sorry for the pain because it wasn't just them. I feel like there's so many people that have, have passed on in your life um, that, you know, it's, it's so confusing for you. Um, but you have a lot of strength, okay? And you do a lot in your way to help other people. You just keep doing it. Your boys adore you. They love you. Um, know that they are, are with you. They're never going to leave you. Ever, ever, ever. They're bonded with you. And that's what, it, that's what, um, that's what um, they want you to recognize. Um, it's important. Okay, well, Sharon, ask your relatives to help you for a truce. Um, ask them to show you the way in some way, okay? Um, Lisa, you're going to get another job, but you've got to think out of the box a little bit. Uh, no, Effie, um, he is not taking photos, okay? Um, but um, he doesn't need a camera anymore. Um, every photo is held in his head. Um, but the photos that you have that he took, um, he wants you to really look at them and see what he was trying to capture. Okay. Um, let's see. Just know that um, your relatives are all around you. Um, they're not going to leave you, okay? Talk to them. Like, have conversations with them. 
um, it's not crazy to connect to them because they are with us. Keep in mind the soul goes on and on and on and on, okay? So they don't have their physical bodies, but they're in these wonderful, they're in their soul energy and it's wonderful. Talk to them, close your eyes and feel them. Meditate and ask them to, to speak to you, whether through the meditation or later on in that day. And by the way, when you meditate, do not lie in bed. Um, sit on a straight back chair or on the floor so you don't fall asleep. Some people like to cover their eyes um, with a scarf or something. Um, you can do that. Um, but bring them, bring them through in every way and listen. Don't say, oh, I'm making it up, okay? Because if you say that, they're, they're not going to come through you in the way that you want them to. Okay, feel them, feel their peace, feel their personalities, hear their laughter, okay? They're in, they're in a good place, okay? And they want you to be in a good place. They want you to continue with your life and feel love and feel happiness. Um, again, um, I want to thank all of you who have read my book. And again, please ask you to please post reviews. Um, and please like me or follow me on this page and sign up for my newsletter so that I can be in contact with you at AnnaRimondi.com. I thank you all from the bottom of my heart um, for letting me share with you. Um, this is my mission and I, I love that I'm able to share the love from above with all of you. Thank you. Good night. Sleep tight. Well, this is interesting. I can't shut it off. Okay. So you still got me. <laughs> I just saw the camera go up and down, but it just won't shut off. <laughs>